What the heck is this? Look at this thing here, guys. Wow. Look at this sign. It says, Glooscap, town of Parsboro. Okay, Glooscap is an important legendary figure of the Mi'kmaq people. Many legends are strongly connected to the land and coast of the Bay of Fundy, okay? So this is like a, a legendary figure in the... Uh, like the indigenous people here. Wow, look at that. That is a crazy, crazy looking thing. That's scary. Man, that is a very scary, it's uh, it's really bright. I don't know if you can see his face, but, um, but yeah, that's scary. Wow. I'm taking you on a trip across Canada. We're gonna see the West Coast, the Rocky Mountains, the prairies, the Canadian Shield, and the Great Lakes. We're gonna go all the way over to the East Coast. And I want you to sit right here as we go on an adventure across Canada. Welcome to Nova Scotia. Look at this. Isn't this nice? A nice sign here, a lighthouse. Some nice flowers. Man, the air here, the air is so fresh. Man, I think this is the freshest air yet on our trip. It smells sort of like, uh, it smells like wild flowers, but uh, not, not very sweet. It's not a sweet smell. It's more like a, mm, I don't know, like a, a flavorful smell. Can a smell be flavorful? <laughs> I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. Okay, look at these nice flowers here. Wow. Look at that bunch of little white flowers. Mmm. Yeah, I think it's these flowers here that are giving the smell. Mmm. It sort of smells... It's not a very strong smell. It's, uh... Oh, I'm not very good at describing smells. It's hard to describe smells, but... But it's just, it's fresh. It's so fresh and it's a bit chilly today. I don't know, I should have worn my jacket because it's a bit, uh, it's a bit cool. But uh, yeah, let's go check out this lighthouse here. All right, so this is our ninth province, right? We're going into our ninth province today. Wow, that means we only have one left. Newfoundland, that's it, only one. Oh wow, look at these flowers. Mmm. Wow, these smell a lot uh, stronger. These these smell like roses. Those other ones had a more had a more uh, like a just a more mild sort of a subtle subtle fresh smell. And you can see more of these little white flowers here. We've had some of those on our trip so far. So yeah, let's let's check out this lighthouse here. All right. So I don't know if this is the border right here where this sign is, but. Yeah, I think you can see those Nova Scotia flags and the Canada flag over there. And uh, see here, the sign says, Welcome to Amherst, Nova Scotia. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can go inside here. Nope, it's locked. Okay, so we can't go in there. We ca I thought maybe we could go up there, but, uh, but we can't. It's okay. <sighs> we're in Nova Scotia, so our ninth province. And uh, we're very close to the East Coast. We are right on the East Coast. Very close. And then uh, we only have one province left, Newfoundland. So Canada has 10 provinces and three territories. The territories are up in the north, right? Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. Okay, so we're not going to go to those on this trip because those are way high up in Canada. And... Uh, I don't know if I have, uh, if I can afford all the gas money to drive up there. Maybe, maybe sometime, maybe next summer, maybe sometime. I'd love to go up to those places. But right now, I'm really happy to be in my ninth province. This is the very first time I've ever been in Nova Scotia. And I'm excited just to see the East Coast. So, so thank you for coming with me. I hope you're going to enjoy the East Coast with me. PEI was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed the island, the province of PEI. That was just amazing. And now we're going over here to Nova Scotia. I think it's gonna be just as amazing. 
Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy it. Let's hit the road. Welcome to the Bay of Fundy. Look at this. Isn't this a beautiful spot? Wow. Now the Bay of Fundy is a, it's a really big bay, sort of in between uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Okay, and it's famous for its tides. Okay, it has the highest tides in the world. So this is just part of the bay here, right? This is just a small area. I'm not sure which place along this bay is the best is the best to show you the tides, but um, I came right here. It's uh, it's low tide right now. It's exactly the lowest point in the tide, and I want you to take a look at at this beach, okay? See how this rocky beach goes up there, uh, and you can see the grass and the trees up there. Well, in high tide, the water goes all the way up there. Yeah, that's high. That's definitely the highest tides I've ever seen in my life. You know, when you go to a beach, the tide comes in and it goes out, and it's it's not really that much, right? It's maybe a few meters in and out. Well, here you can see how far up the water goes, right? This is a it's a pretty steep incline. It's not like a normal beach where it's like flat. Like this actually goes up pretty high. And I can tell that the water in high tide about 12 hours ago was actually all the way up there because, you know, all along this area, you can see like fresh seaweed, right? Look at that, it's wet. And you can see like snails on the rocks like this here. See these uh, these kind of snails that have come in from, from the ocean. So yeah, it's all wet. Now the, the, the rocks look dry because uh, the sun has dried the rocks, you know, all morning. It's about, uh, I think it's about one o'clock right now, lunchtime. So the sun has dried all the rocks, the top of the rocks. Underneath the rocks, it's it's still wet and uh, and all this like fresh, wet seaweed. So, well, <laughs> it just about slipped. Okay, so so all the way up there, uh, the the like the water level rises so high. So I just wanted to show you guys sort of what it looks like here. It's uh, just like a rocky beach. It's really empty. <laughs> there are just a few people over there, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. It's really peaceful here. It's it's a beautiful day. It's not very windy. It's a mix of sun and cloud. So yeah, it's a, just a perfect place to stop and eat my lunch. So I'm going to go back up to my car and uh, eat some lunch and we can take a look at the map. I'll show you where we are, where we're going today. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys this rocky beach and some of the, the seaweed and, and stuff like that. So let's go check the map. See these pools of water that the tide left when it was up? I mean, you can see over there, right? There's the, there's the ocean. And you see how high the tide comes in high tide, right? All this moss here, these tide pools here. And then, uh, yeah, when the tide goes out, it leaves these, these cool pools here. And uh, it's really cool with this moss. Look at this moss just growing here. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, you can see here, you know, how far the tide really goes out and, and how far it comes in. Like, uh, yeah, it, it comes in a long way. Imagine that the water comes up over here and then falls down into like these, these pools here. So yeah, I think it's a good example to show you how, how high the tide actually comes in. All this, as you can you can tell, it's wet. Everything is fresh, right? All these sticks and everything on the beach, it's all wet. And uh, yeah, about 12 hours ago, I guess the water would have been about this high and now it's way over there. So yeah, man, this is a really cool place. If you come to Eastern Canada, you should check out the Bay of Fundy. Ah, nice ocean air and uh, just a peaceful place. You can see, I mean, just a nice sort of an island. Actually, there's a sign over there that says this is an island. Okay, look, the, the ocean is over there and the ocean is over here. Now in low tide, it's not an island. In low tide, it's a peninsula. But in high tide, the water comes all the way around here and uh, 
yeah, I guess it, I guess it turns into an island, so that's kind of cool. Well, it looks like we have some more purple flowers here in Nova Scotia. <laughs> Look at these nice little purple flowers growing here by the, the ocean. Some nice driftwood and we have some some pink flowers too. Pink and purple. Man, that's awesome. I think every province in Canada has purple flowers. Ah, just drinking a sparkling water here with a bit of lime. All right, let's take a look at the map. All right, so, oh, you know, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to take this sticker off here because remember we didn't stay the night in Moncton because it was too busy and all the hotels were, were booked up. I drove straight over here to Prince Edward Island. So now we've come back across that bridge, Confederation Bridge, and now we're here right by the Bay of Fundy. So now we are in Nova Scotia and we are going over here to Halifax. Halifax, so I'll put a sticker on the map for Halifax, wow. Look at that, we are in the Maritimes, the Maritimes here. These four provinces make up the Maritimes, okay? And Nova Scotia is the most populated Place. It has the highest population, okay? Nova Scotia has almost a million people, which actually isn't that many, considering Calgary has more than a million. So one city in Canada, not even the biggest city, right? Calgary is just a, a medium city in Canada, and it has more people than a whole province right? And this is the most highly populated province. Remember New Brunswick had I think 770,000 people. Prince Edward Island, it's uh, the smallest. That one only has 150,000 people. And then Newfoundland and Labrador, okay, that only has I think about 500,000. So half a million. So this whole area, right, it's, it's not very populated. That's a lot different than uh, over here in this area where like millions and millions of people live there. So so that's kind of cool about the East Coast, right? This whole area, there's, you know, there's very few people here, right? I'm just here in a beautiful spot here in the Bay of Fundy. And you can see, I mean, there's a few cars there, maybe one or two cars over there. And then there's, there's me here. There's a truck there. There's a house there, another house over there. It's just very sparsely populated right there. There aren't many people. So if you like peace and quiet, I'm telling you the East Coast, the East Coast is much less uh, populated than the West Coast right near Vancouver there. There are some big cities around there, uh, you know, Victoria and uh, Abbotsford and that whole area is very, very highly populated. But this, <laughs> the, the East Coast is not very highly populated at all. So. So you might enjoy that, you know, if you want to find a nice place in Canada to live or just to travel, you might want to check out this area. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm so glad I came out here to see Eastern Canada. This is amazing. And I'm not even at the, I'm not completely at the East Coast yet. We're right here in the Bay of Fundy. So today we're driving over here to Halifax. So, so then I'll be on the East Coast. That's going to be, you know, I'm going to look out into the, over the Atlantic Ocean here. And then there's going to be nothing, you know, nothing until Portugal. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's a huge, huge ocean, right? Um, that's crazy. So I'm excited to see the Atlantic Ocean here. Hey, let's roll the dice while we're at it because that's our custom. Okay, well, I'm sure Nova Scotia is going to give me good luck. The Bay of Fundy here. Hmm, what should I do? Maybe I should... Uh, Roll it into this grass. Roll it onto that driftwood. I don't know, what do you think I should do? Um, you know, maybe I should roll it onto the rocks over here onto the beach. I think that's gonna give me the best luck. Ah, yeah, right down onto the beach. That's gonna give me, I'm 100% sure that's gonna give me good luck. All right, so I'm gonna roll it down here on the beach. Here we go. Yes, <laughs> like, I knew, I knew it. I knew it would give me good luck. Ah, so I'm happy about that. 
now I can eat my lunch in peace. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, watching this series across Canada. I hope, uh, you know, I, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're learning some things. You know, I'm learning a lot. You know, I'm learning, you know, everything's new for me. I'm just, uh, I'm just taking it in and learning a lot more about, you know, even how to, uh, you know, how, how to say the names of the, the places. Like, you know, I wasn't even sure about how to pronounce the names of, like, for example, I was in, I was in uh, Prince Edward Island here, and the capital of Prince Edward Island is Charlottetown, right? And when I got there, actually, I probably learned it when I was a kid, but um, I forgot that that was the capital, and I, you know, all these places, right, um, here, uh, Fredericton, right? Fredericton is the capital of New Brunswick, uh, Halifax is the capital of Nova Scotia, and uh, Charlottetown is the is the capital of PEI. You know, so many. Just, I'm sure a lot of other Canadians forget that too. But if you ask me, what's the capital of these places? I, I might not have gotten a hundred percent. But um, yeah, so it's it's refreshing my memory. When I was a kid, I learned about all these places. You know, the capitals of, of the places. But sometimes when you when you grow up, you forget about. You forget about all that. So, to be honest, I never really thought much about this area, and I, I just forgot. So, yeah, I was in, I was in Charlottetown. I did some shopping there, and also I stopped in Fredericton on my way out here. So, so yeah, I'm gonna see all the capitals for sure. Um, Halifax, St. John's. Now, here's St. John's. <laughs> Don't get confused because there's also a St. John in New Brunswick. Okay, this one is St. John. And this one is St. John's <laughs> with an S. So that's a bit crazy. But um, yeah, so we're almost there. Now we're going to go up the coast here. And then we're going to take a ferry across here to to uh, Newfoundland. And then uh, we're going to go over here to St. John's. Wow, and that's going to be the east, the furthest east part of, of Canada. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for joining me. And uh Let's keep going on our trip after I eat my lunch. Hey guys, I found another spot here at the Bay of Fundy. Um, this area is called the Five Islands. You can see some islands over there. Now this is right at low tide. This is uh, this is really interesting. See this mud? Okay, here's the here's the the beach, right? The rocky beach, and and then here the tide is so far out there by those islands. Um, these are called mud flats. Okay, there's a sign just over there, up uh, up on the beach there, that says, "Don't walk on the mud flats and try to get to the islands." I don't know who would do that. That'd be crazy. Anybody can see that this is uh, that this is a danger area, right? The tide is going to come quick, and the sign says that the tides they rise really fast. So I guess it's I guess it's fast. It's not slow. Like I thought it would be a little bit slower but um but yeah if the sign says that they come fast i'm sure they they rise really fast okay so i mean look at this okay this is mud and uh, and you can walk on it like look at that right uh so maybe maybe people try to walk over to those islands over there i don't know that would be ridiculous <laughs> that'd be crazy but uh yeah so you can see how far up here the tide go see where that um i'll walk up there so you can see you can see way over there right the water is way out there i'm not sure if it's the lowest point in the tide i don't think it, this is the lowest point because uh because you can see a little bit of water between here and the islands i think the tide is already starting to come in a little bit so so it's probably dangerous you know if someone tried to walk out there the tide it rises pretty quick and uh i wouldn't even want to be here you know when the tide comes in it's uh who knows how fast it comes in but like i said the bay of fundy that's what it's known for it's known to have the you know the highest tides in the world it's way over there the water and then the water is going to come up over uh you can see here right it's all wet look at that right this is all fresh the water was here very recently and uh climbing up here you can see how steep this is going up here like the water just comes up from the ocean hundreds of feet you know hundreds of meters I, I don't know like that's a that's a long way out 
I would say from here to where the water is, that's a few hundred meters. Yeah, definitely. So now we're gonna, gonna go up here. See, look at this seaweed here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's moist, but um, I don't know, maybe, maybe the tides, you can see these lines here, right? Maybe every day it's a bit different. Like see this seaweed, this is dry. So maybe the tide hasn't come up here for a few days, but you can see this stuff is green. So I'm sure the tide came here very recently, probably maybe today, yesterday, I'm not sure. So then uh, you can see up here, this is probably the highest it comes here because there's even seaweed up here. Look at this. Okay, look at this stuff here, right? So yeah, I mean, it's, imagine it comes up here. This is all moist as well. I'm not sure. Imagine that. The tide coming like here, going way out there. Man, I can't believe that. That would be something interesting to watch. It's too bad I, it's too bad there's no camping spot here. Otherwise I'd go camping here for a day or two, but I haven't seen any any places to like set up a tent or something and watch the tide, but I don't know, this is just a really cool, a cool place. I'm glad I came at low tide so I could, you know, show you how far the tide goes out. I mean, you can imagine if the tide comes up to here, right? Just how much water, like we're, we're uh, you know, a lot higher than the water is over there. I don't know how much higher. 10 meters i'm not sure but uh but yeah the water rises a lot so i uh, hey there's a cool lighthouse i'm gonna go over there and show you that lighthouse wow look at the view from here there's little cliffs here by the by the shoreline here these red cliffs over there wow this is such an awesome awesome spot you can see some nice flowers here man this spot is it's pretty much the same as PEI, you know, with the red cliffs and the ocean, but the tides here are really cool. That's something I didn't really see in, in PEI. I didn't see like the water going way out like this. Hey, take a look at this cool lighthouse. I think I can go up in the lighthouse. It's not as high as the lighthouse we were, remember uh, by the Great Lakes, um, the Canadian Shield there. There was another lighthouse that I went up. This one's not as high, but it's still pretty cool. All right, guys, we made it to the top. Wow, look at this cool view. Man, that's awesome. There's a nice light. I don't know if there is actually a light there, but uh, it looks like the bulb is broken. <laughs> so there used to be a light there. Look at this magnificent view. Wow, the Bay of Fundy. Man, this is gorgeous. Two nice red lawn chairs down there. And uh, yeah, well, there's my red SUV down there. Yeah, well, that was a nice lighthouse. And uh, let's go back down. Hey guys, take a look at this nice park. I just was driving along the highway here to Halifax and I saw this, it's called Veterans Memorial Park. And uh, it's, a, it's like a, a park that's a memorial to all the Canadian soldiers who have died, you know, fighting in, in World War I and World War II and maybe some other wars. So this is a really great area. You know, it's really, it's nice that Canada has places like this to remember the sacrifice of people you know our freedom in Canada isn't free you know it didn't come free it came at a cost you know the the soldiers they gave their lives to defend the freedom that we have here so yeah it's just a really nice looking park I'll just take you through so this is a, a replica of the trenches that uh, that the Canadian soldiers fought in uh, in World War one can you imagine being a soldier here you know, with your helmet, your gun, you know, over in Europe. Wow. I mean, those Canadian soldiers were really brave to fight, you know, to go all the way over to Europe 
to fight over there. That's uh, that's crazy. Yeah. So I think here are some of the names of the people who died in the in the war. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Let's start in the middle here. It says Veterans Memorial Park. Courage, valor, sacrifice. Okay. So look at these names here. World War Two, World War One. All of those there, and then uh, this one is all World War Two. Wow, a lot of names there. This one is World War One. This is the Korean War. Yeah, look at this. Look at these people here. I don't know if these people were were from Nova Scotia here. Maybe this area. I'm not sure. Uh, and then here is Afghanistan. Wow, look at all those names. All these good people who died fighting here's peacekeepers look at that all those great people yeah peacekeepers korean war world war one world war two yeah you know that's something a lot of people take for granted i think even i take it for granted sometimes how much freedom there is in this country you know so many countries don't have don't have basic freedoms that's why people have to escape their country and come to our country and I'm very thankful that Canada is a, a you know a friendly country to come to come to that we allow people to come here take a look at this what is this place some sort of a podium I don't know maybe uh, you know maybe they have events here in this park and the person stands here and you know delivers a speech I'm not sure let's go check out this cool uh, armed forces ribbon now actually i have one of these in my car it's it, when you see this in canada a yellow ribbon like this that that's a uh, that shows that you support the troops so we support our troops okay so yeah it's a yellow ribbon with a red a red maple leaf there so yeah i mean uh you know the canadian forces have done a great great job you know fighting in um, so many different different conflicts around the world and they've done a they've done just a terrific job so i'm very thankful for that i'm thankful for all the canadian soldiers yeah what else can i show you here? well I'll just walk around sort of around here and show you the rest of the park you know places like this are really are really maintained well you know it's uh they're they're upkept upkeep you know the i don't know who who comes here and takes care of this but they do a really good job upkeeping this place so yeah here's the flags Nova Scotia flag Canada flag uh, I can't see that flag it's a blue flag the wind isn't blowing right now so it's hard to see um, yeah just some trees let's see what this rock is here the broken was created to commemorate soldiers who have returned from the theater of war changed soldiers wounded physically or emotionally and those who've gone on to suicide wow you know that's uh it's a big a big issue you know when people go to war they come back and they you know they really struggle with uh a lot of things you know post-traumatic stress disorder you know when you've seen so much violence and then you come back to canada just it's just so shocking you know a lot of the a lot of the soldiers really really struggle and a lot of them commit suicide which is unfortunate so this rock right it's just a broken rock it uh it represents yeah i guess it, it represents the all those who have been broken by conflict you know who have survived you know maybe they've been physically wounded or emotionally scarred um, but yeah, so this is a, this is really nice, a nice thing to do to remember all the people who have sacrificed so much for Canada to have its, its freedom. Like I said, you know, this is rare. Canada has something rare that people want. When people come to Canada, they come for freedom, they come for freedom. You know, nobody wants to kill anybody here. We're just, we're free. The government doesn't want to kill me. You know, I can do whatever I want. The, go the government's not going to kill me. You know, Justin Trudeau is our prime minister right now. He, I'm sure he doesn't want to kill me. Uh, so many other countries around the world, the leader wants to kill the people. 
and uh, that's just so sad or maybe if not the leader maybe a certain group of people in the country wants to kill you well you know I'm very confident to say that like <laughs> Justin Trudeau or any of the politicians in Canada none of them want to kill me I'm sure they're not going to kill me um, and there's no group in Canada that wants to kill me you know and that's something rare a lot of other countries don't have that so I'm very thankful for that I can just do a nice trip across Canada I'm not really worried about my safety just walking around you know I haven't even thought about that once it's like, oh is that person gonna kill me I better you know I, I bet if I didn't even lock my car nobody would take anything nobody would steal anything I'm sure a lot of the people who live in just a quiet peaceful area like this I'm sure most of these people don't even lock their doors you know if they go out for the day or at night it's just Canada's a very just a very trusting place it's a place with freedom really good people so yeah I just wanted to stop here show you this park and uh, yeah remember the great the great men and women who served to protect Canadian freedom you know in the Canadian national anthem uh, one of the lines is God keep our land glorious and free God keep our land glorious and free that's that's awesome you know I agree with that may God keep our land glorious and free and uh, it's a very loud semi <laughs> if it's not planes it's semis on the highway and uh, another line in the Canadian anthem is we stand on guard for thee we stand on guard for Canada right these people they stood on guard for Canada on guard for freedom so uh, that's really nice in our national anthem may God keep our land glorious and free I hope Canada stays free forever you know we don't want the tyranny that is in so many other countries it's just a free country you can believe what you want to believe you can say what you want to say freedom of speech it's just uh, it's amazing I really really appreciate our freedom that we have here all right guys just got to my hotel here in Halifax so this is it and uh, this is what the outside of the motel looks like there's my SUV down there all right so I'm in room 17 let's check it out okay let's turn on a light where's the light oh, over here okay let's open the curtains all right so this is it um got a tv like always mini fridge table bed and uh the floor is really slippery it feels like i'm walking on wax it feels like there's candle wax on the on the floor okay so here's the bathroom and that's yeah that's about it it's just a simple simple motel room and uh, yeah wow well welcome to Halifax now we are on the east coast I haven't seen the water yet tomorrow I'm gonna take you guys you know to actually see the coast I don't know how far it is from here but um, yeah, so oh, look at this nice chair. Wow. Oh, I can just sit here and edit a video. <laughs> so I'll just edit a couple videos, upload a few videos. I hope the Wi-Fi is good here. The last place, uh, the Wi-Fi wasn't great. So I hope, I hope the Wi-Fi is good here. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you over in the next episode. Mm -hmm.